Hey guys, Chris Wallen here. Today we're going to be talking about a great line versus the right line. And it is one of the hardest things you can do as a songwriter to replace a line that is clever that you you know that you maybe you even started the song because of this line and it's just it isn't flowing it doesn't feel natural in the song but it's a great line you know it's a great line this has happened to me so many times um it is always better to go with a simple, clear line over a just a, you know one of those you know lines that you think that every songwriter that hears it's going to pass out. Clever line that just kind of feels clunky in the song, and you know. A good example of this is I, I wrote a song years ago called Grave to the Cradle. And it's actually, to be honest, it's it's one of my favorite songs I've ever written. And I wrote it with Michael Peterson. <laughs> we probably had six sessions on this song. And we were done with the song about session two or three. It was my fault that it took so long to finish that song because there was a line in the song that actually started the idea for the song. And I just hammered and hammered and hammered and it, you know and I, I wanted to put it in there, but if I put it in there, the song was going to be too long. Or I would have to take something else out that we already had, and I loved what we had. And finally, I just come to the conclusion that it's a great song without this great line. And that's hard to come to as a songwriter, especially if you started the song with it. And I'm not, I'm not telling you to, you know, don't put great lines in your songs. <laughs> I'm not telling you that, but just keep in mind that it is just way more beneficial to be clear. And if, if a line gives you that problem or it, or it just doesn't feel natural inside the song, it's okay to simplify that line. It, it actually will make the song way more powerful if you just have a just a clear line that says what you want it to say and evokes whatever emotion that you want it to evoke so you know i just wanted to to put that out there because i am guilty of this because i'm always wanting these really cool lines and sometimes they work and it's it works out great but don't be always married to the just the clever line only use those lines if they fit in the song and put simplicity and a core feeling or thought over a clever thought almost always the song always wins just remember that the line can go back and forth, but the song, the overall song always wins. So there you go. My name is Chris Wallen with Building Great Songs, and I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.